I can't wait to sleep 10 hours tonight. I really hope I can do this.
to my dressing room. So, a big thank you to Washington Performing Arts for bending some rules and letting me film a little bit of the haul for you. Unfortunately, I cannot show you my practicing, but... It's an hour and 15 minutes before I perform. I am sleepy, so I might take a nap. Um, but... Ooh, fruit. I'm glad... I'm honored. I don't look like... the same mood same attitude as the words that's coming out of my mouth right now because I'm very very tired but um I am just very grateful to be performing and it's an incredible honor to be playing in this venue in this series and so I hope you're not mad that you're not able to see me practicing and rehearsing. But I can describe to you the piano. The piano's new. I mean, I don't mean new, 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 like the newest baby. It's a few years old. I don't think it's super new, but it's on the new side. Maybe it's three years old, I don't know. It's a very nice instrument. It's been lived in enough, so it's not brand new and the kind of piano that just doesn't speak yet. So it has potential to be a great partner. I just asked the technician who is tuning right now on stage uh, a few things about the piano, just some voicing to have it brighter in some places or um, Oh, I forgot to say one thing to the technician. Hold on. needed him to check something about the Denver. So Mentha and Kayla, sorry, I should not be saying this <laughs> with food in my mouth, but Washington Performing Arts, they've been very, very nice organizing everything, negotiating stuff, and um, these get ready with me vlogs. As I was thinking about filming this one, I feel like I don't give enough credit to all the people around a lot of times. Actually, you know, every single video so far has been about me getting ready, but these concerts can't happen without the entire stage crew, the entire concert presenter, staff, uh, venue, staff, management, so many people involved, technicians for the piano, and audiences and patrons. So it's just a lot of people that I would like to start uh, giving credit to every single time I do these concerts, behind the scenes vlogs, just because I'm only one 
little part of the experience that we will get to have together in about an hour. Well, I think a few dozens of you, but not here. <laughs> I've never done a concert in this state. I don't mean United States, I mean state of physical state, mental state, energy state. So yeah, I don't know. You got me food. Hi, I just finished the first half. The first half, I was freezing cold. I think maybe it had to do with keeping air circulations to keep everyone safe in the hall, but I was so cold. So I apologize if you felt like the Kinderzinen and Arabesque were not uh, super captivating. I think I played it really softly and I think I tried to get that intimate atmosphere but it didn't seem to be working so uh, then the stage manager helped me ask for uh, less fan because I could literally see my hair moving that's the kind of wind circulation happening and I think it was a lot better and I'm a lot warmer. And I think I kind of woke up also a lot more, maybe. I think I played more out there. But then the last movement of Clara Schumann's Sonata, I had a wardrobe malfunction where my sleeve was kind of falling. <laughs> 10 minutes left in this intermission. 10 minutes, please. 10 minutes. Um, so I spent a good two minutes in panic mode but pretending like nothing is happening so i raised my arm like this to prevent it from falling and since clara's finale movement had so much to say for both hands she did not have a break for the left hand for a good two minutes or so before i could do a fix anyway second half i hope people enjoy this. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if people are enjoying this. I can't tell. So, whatever. I am going to be performing the second half filled with pieces that I learned during the pandemic and all brand new in terms of public performance so yeah it will be quite an adventure part of me is nervous whether people enjoy this concert but um yeah we'll see also my stomach cannot stop growling so that's a problem
cried at the end. Oh my god. But I gotta meet some people. Maybe I will run into you, I don't know. But I... Me too. Not cry. But I hope you enjoyed the concert. That's kind of the goal, right? what to say but um this is the kennedy center you probably have seen this online but um it's super pretty the thing i didn't say was that my stomach kept growling and i don't know if people heard it at the end be kind keeps driving i uh will compile this two weeks from now i don't know but Thank you to everyone who came to the concert and uh, goodbye.